Yuri Lane, ladies and gentlemen, straight from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Our next guest has been a, a well-known and well-loved guitarist. They call him the guitarist guitarist. Ever since his first album, Surfing with the Aliens, sold over two million copies. That was your first album, right? Back in the 1980s. It was uh, third, actually. Third? But, uh, yeah. First one anybody knew about? That's right. Yeah, more, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> more to the point. These days, his work has taken a decidedly more technical turn. The legend himself, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Satriani. It's great to have you. Welcome. Thank you. To the Screen Savers. Thanks. So, what was your third album? It was, yeah. The first one was uh, avant garde, uh, little EP. Mm -hmm. uh, did it myself mm -hmm. and uh, sold it. In your out. basement? Uh, I was living in an apartment, so I didn't have a basement then. <laughs> but um, yeah, sold it out of the trunk of a 64 Corvair that shouldn't have been driving really? around. Yeah, wow. Didn't sell very many. And then uh, got a credit card in the mail and financed uh, my next record that had real you know, drums and bass and stuff like that. That one, uh, a friend of mine really liked it, and uh, he had just had success getting signed by a label in New York that was signing unusual guitarists. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was Steve Vai, and, and he turned oh, me on wow. to Relativity Records when they signed me and, and then said, well, you're going to do something with a little bit more something. And Commercial it, and it out, appeal. They wanted something that was rocking a little yeah. bit more. And, and I had sort of gone through my artistic phase there for a little bit with the EP, so I turned out surfing, and, and that's the one that really clicked. Were you a studio musician before that, or? Not really, no. a guitar teacher. This was just, you were a guitar teacher? Yes, yeah. No kidding. Yeah, I didn't like studio work because you had to play like other people, and, and uh, that's very annoying. When, yeah, when you wanted to says, play like you. Yeah, you, want, you know, you want to keep your own identity, but you can only make money if you're good at imitating what's hot at the right, moment. Right, of so. course. Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, that's always the case with mass media. They're very conservative. They just want to do what hit last time. Yes, That's exactly. something new. How did you do it in your basement? Did you have uh, digital recording equipment, or were you just laying no, it down uh, on tape? In the, in the early days, uh, it was all done in studios uh, with tape, of course. And we yeah. didn't really get into digital stuff until I did, uh, I don't know, um, I guess we were editing together the G3 Live uh, DVD. Mm -hmm. And just because we had so many performances to put together, uh, we brought in Eric Hodja, and he was the first Pro Tools guy I ever met. And uh, he knew that digital design software up and down. And once I saw what could it's be amazing, done, isn't it? yeah, I said, well, I, it would be nice to get out of a studio and into a normal living location and remove the element of time and, and, uh, and location and do uh, a record in a living room. You something. have a great picture uh, on your website of your living room. And, uh, oh, and that's uh, <laughs> what a cool looking place to work. It yeah. looks really fun. So it's, you do most of your stuff there? Now I do, yeah. yeah. On the, there it is. There's the shot right there. This is Satriani.com. That's com. right. You've got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a nice, I have to say, I was really impressed with this site because it's not your average everyday site. This is a, uh, this, this is a multimedia, it's a very interesting site. You do yeah. chats in there, you're very, it's very interactive. That's right, I'm on there every day answering Are you? Uh, questions. Wow. And uh, the, the layout and the functionality is uh, really, uh, credit goes to John Luini at Chime Interactive. He's made that site uh, easy for me to sort of get around at, and then he's always bringing up what I, what I think he knows what people out there online really want. Right. What makes them feel like they're part of a little it's, community. And it's the interactivity, it's the community. And, right. But it's neat that you participate in it. Why, why do you, why, every day, why, what do you do? No. Why, why is it that you want to be so much a part of that? Um, I think it's the same thing that makes me uh, primarily a, a shy person, want to get up on stage in front of thousands of people and <laughs> put on a guitar and just yeah. start playing, you know. And, uh, do you find there are also uh, young guitar, I mean, you're still a teacher in some ways, that young guitarists who come on there and ask you stuff. And they do, yeah. And some of the questions we can redirect into other pages that, that has the boring technical stuff. This is you live in concert. This You're performing Borg Sex, which is uh, from the Engines of Creation uh, LP, which was a couple of years ago, but really kind of a breakthrough in terms of uh, the technology variety that you use. That's right. Well, everything was done without microphones. Uh, it was done in a living room, just on a couple of Macintosh computers, primarily using uh, Pro Tools and eMagic's uh, software I as well. I saw you said on the website that you'll create MIDI files mm -hmm. and send them out to people and yeah. then they work with them? Yeah, you can email MIDI files uh, to your friends and and uh, Eric and I work, work like that for quite a while. And he would change them, send back an idea and uh, that was a great way to get things going at first. It's kind of like playing chess by mail. It's, yeah. it's music by mail. It's, it's exactly kind of a slow way to do it. Musical chess. But it works. It works. It's great, yeah. So you modify, or you get an idea, you send it to him, he'll modify it, send it back. Mm -hmm. Does he give you text, or is it just kind of a musical conversation you're having? Sometimes. Sometimes you just listen to it's it? It's just a joke, yeah, a little something, you know, throw this back at you. That sounds really it. fun. That sounds really neat. Uh, you do have music on your site, right? We, People can download it. You know, it's a funny thing with that. We, uh, I'm signed to Sony Music, and 
Um, it's a bit of a tug of war. You know, they we don't want, want you to do that. They don't want. They, they issue a cease and desist, and we say we're, we're not ready. To you? But yeah. you're their artist. I know. It's, it's kind of odd that way. Sometimes they, they want us to do it. Other times they really don't. And sometimes I think it's because they just want everything directed to their side. Right. It's like that key to audio thing you guys were talking about before. It, it doesn't really work. And, and, and I think it's really a marketing ploy just to get people to go to a website that's got some other stuff on there they want you to see. Oh, really? For me, what if they said to you, "We want to put key two or some sort of copy protection on your CD?" Well, they did, and I said no. They gave me the option. Which and you do have the right as an artist to say no. Yes. In your case, I guess yes, not all do. artists. Yes, Sony gives the artist the right to approve or, or not. So I, I certainly thought, well, most of my fans, are, are sitting in front of computers. I do. All my guys in the band use computers to listen to music. It would be silly to take that away. And now, you must not like people downloading your songs though on, uh, on Napster or Kazaa or something. I mean, to a certain extent. It's it's counterproductive to everything. <laughs> right. I mean, to, to getting you want to make to getting, a living. To making a living. To but now let's say Sony's not there. In the best of all possible worlds, mm -hmm. would you like to sell your music directly to the artist, to the audience on the website, that kind of thing? Uh, if I didn't have to, you know, fill out the orders and process them myself, right. yeah, I, I would hope that uh, the labels would get into that. I mean, that's what they're good at. at they're good at selling things. That's what they do. They're, they're very good at that. But and they, you don't they fund the artist, you know. They give the artist an interest-free loan. So they have a role. Mm -hmm. I'd uh -huh. like to see them lower the price of music. I think that would go a long way towards making uh, the world a, a little less greedy as far as stealing right. stuff online. Right. Why would you then put music up on the site? Oh, to get people excited about a new direction. Like when we were doing Engines of Creation, which was a techno record, a complete departure from the rest of my catalog. We had to give people a little hint about where we were going. Right. And uh, I've got a new record coming out June 25th. We'd like to do the same thing because we're shifting completely back to rock music and away from techno music, uh, even though we use the same gear to, to produce it. Sounds like the website, though, is a great tool for you to stay in touch with your audience, to let mm -hmm. them know what you're doing, to yeah. promote your music yeah. uh, in a very direct way. Yeah, we, you know, if you go to our site, uh, you look for the, the tour dates, you'll see that we have uh, contest winners for every show get to come backstage. That's cool. We have an area for them to post reviews and photos from the shows they've just come to. And of course, the listing of the shows. Each time we go out on tour, we give them a chance to fill out a, a template for uh, what set list they'd like us to play. Wow, they get to pick for you to take requests. They get pretty much to determine what we play, which is great. That's awesome. That's really amazing. I like the way that you have taken your career, you've done it yourself, you've been independent, and you, you've made it work, mm -hmm. and you still are in touch with the fans, which I think is it's kind of wonderful. Yeah, the fans rule. you got to stay That's in touch great. with them. <laughs> and the music rules. Joe Satriani, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Great stuff. For more information on Joe's career, new tours, MP3 samples, we've got a link to Satriani.com and our website, thescreensavers.com. Everything Satriani is there. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Really thank great you. to meet you Thanks after all years of listening to your music.